Hey, what's up guys? Lewis here with Shutterstock Tutorials. We've got a quick and easy tutorial for you today. We're going to talk about how to get sun stars within your video footage. Sun stars is the name given to the visual attribute for when you see those nice streaks coming off a setting sun or a morning sun, usually in landscape shots, but if you watch most things by Shivo, uh, such as The Revenant, you'll see that employed in those films too. If you're out filming and for some reason your shot isn't giving you the wow factor or it feels like it's missing something, without any additional components, some sun streaks can visually give the image more of a cinematic feeling. For example, in this shot, I have the actor walking up a coastal path. It's not necessarily exciting. We're shooting towards the sun, so the sky is a little blown out. However, by getting those sun streaks in, it gives the image that extra bit of magic. Now, when we think of cinematic footage, uh, shallow depth of field is one attribute that often comes quick to mind. However, of course, uh, this is just one of many attributes old westerns would often shoot with a deep depth of field. But from the 2000s onwards, especially with the DSLR revolution, a lot of younger content creators and filmmakers always shoot an f1.4 to f4. But to get sun streaks, we need to ditch the wide aperture and instead use a narrow aperture from f11 to f13 is a good point, or even all the way up to f16. This is because the star streaks are caused by the light passing through the small aperture and diffracted across the aperture blades in the lens. When you're using a narrow aperture, let's just say from f10 onwards, the aperture or the opening is less curved and there's more of a defined edge along the blades resulting in a more defined starburst. In this shot, I'm at f11 and the sun star is very defined when it comes to the view. Here I'm at f4 and the streaks are just noticeable, however when at f2.8 they hardly exist, so it's pivotal to be using a narrow aperture. Now that is just one of two components, you can't just stick your aperture to f16, point towards the sun and hope for sun streaks, instead we need the sun within the composition to be hitting something. The star is caused when the sun hits an object and the light is dispersed from its natural direction, then mixed with the defined edges of the aperture, you'll get your sun star. I often find, like this shot, some of the better results come from when you move in and out of position to bring the streaks alive. Additionally, to get the best results, you don't want any ambient diffusion from the clouds, even if it's a blue day and the cloud cover is very minimal. Even the softest cloud will spoil the effect. You really need direct sunlight to get the best streaks. Now, of course, we don't usually do uh, quick tip videos, but if you have enjoyed this, I want some more, let us know in the comments. Uh, I've been Lewis with Shutterstock Tutorials, and I'll catch you guys next time.